In the last couple of months, my car has gone through two oil changes and some serious running. This video is about the first oil, the Gulf Formula Elite. A lot of us don't know about this oil, yet this is one of those oil in the Gulf oil range that is elite and different from others. Gulf is the official lubricant partner for McLaren and this is something that goes into the McLaren. And I have taken the courage to use it in my Maruti Suzuki for a good 7000 plus kilometers. With 7000 plus kilometers of experience, there are few things that I have really liked about the Formula Elite and of course there are some which could have made my experience better. The first thing which I clearly noticed was the silent and smooth operation even at higher revs or in slow moving traffic and this is probably coming from the higher kinematic viscosity of 11.9mm2 per second at 100 degrees celsius which is on the viscous side. Even if you compare it with the Gulf Ultra Synth X Plus that stands at 10.5mm2 per second at 100 degrees celsius. Of course, kinematic viscosity is just one of the factors along with viscosity index of 195 which is one of the highest you can get. <laughs> this is already sounding like a paid collaboration and I wish it was, but unfortunately you won't find Gulf marketing and promoting this oil. In fact, it is really hard to source even from the authorized distributors. The Gulf Formula Elite is a API SP ACEA C3 specific engine oil along with mid sap additive with low ash content to reduce deposits and build up. This engine oil is compatible with BSX petrol and diesel engines and going by the specs and formulations, this is apt for modern turbo petrol engines and diesel engines with DPF and active 3-way catalytic converters. In my case, the oil got to face regular Maharashtra winter along with some part of summer. This also included daily use with multiple hospital visits and sometimes daily shuttling between Mumbai and Pune. My 1.2K series engine responded well to the Formula Elite. The VVT gave silent operation even during the hill drives. There was some drop in oil level at around 5000 km, which was replenished with around 200 ml of engine oil and the level remained fine after that. The Formula Elite handled expressway speeds very well with temperatures in between 75 to 85 degrees Celsius, but I could sense the hesitation when the engine was creeping in traffic with the load of air conditioner. If you are someone who wants to compare the Gulf Formula Elite with the Gulf Ultra Synth X Plus, then clearly the Formula Elite is a superior product in more ways than one. It's not just API SN Plus versus API SP, but factors like better flash point, better pore point, and of course the Formula Elite has got a TBN of 9.3 in comparison to 7.3 on the Ultra Synth X Plus. This also gives the Formula Elite an edge in performance and comparative longer oil drain interval. On the other hand, the Ultra Synth X Plus might provide us with marginal better fuel efficiency as C3 specific engine oils like the Formula Elite are not really known for that. In my case, I have got somewhere in between 16 to 18 km per litre for highway running which is decent but I have seen better fuel efficiency numbers on this car on this very route. If you ask me, my experience with the Gulf Formula Elite has been really good and it's up there in my recommendation list as I felt they have reasonably priced it under 3000 rupees. But its availability is an actual issue. For those looking for online purchase, I will leave the Amazon link in the description. Apart from the 2 to 3 videos that were planned ahead, I am not sure about the future of the lab test videos planned on the channel. So let me know in the comments if you want a lab test video on the Formula Elite in comparison to something similarly priced like the Castrol Edge or the Petronas Synthium 3000. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.